there's nothing that many families look forward to more than going off-roading. There's just something about chasing an adventure that charges everybody up. No matter how you do it, you always look forward to hitting the trail and finding the way out. The Ranger Razor gives families a chance to do something really exciting and do it together. Congratulations, you've just purchased a Polaris Ranger Razor, the most exciting off-road vehicle in the industry. If you're watching this video, you're obviously concerned about safety and operating responsibly. Keep two things in mind. Go as often as you can and go as safely as you can, keeping in mind there are dangers and risks involved in the operation of this vehicle that can result in serious injury or death. The first thing you can do to operate safely is really simple. Read your owner's manual. You need to become familiar with all the systems, controls, and operation of the machine. Keep it handy in case you need to refer to it. Before you operate, read all the safety labels on the vehicle. They're also a good practical source of safety information when you're out on the trail. The Ranger Razor should only be operated by drivers 16 years of age and older with a valid driver's license. A single passenger 12 years of age or older is allowed in each passenger seat of a Ranger Razor, but only if the passenger is large enough to firmly plant his or her feet on the floor and securely grasp the handholds. The seats and front handhold are adjustable. Refer to your owner's manual for more information on these adjustments. It's important to remember that you, the operator, are solely responsible for the safety of your passengers. Therefore, operators should fully explain before any ride the importance of being a passenger while the vehicle is in motion. It's also a good idea that any potential passengers watch this video to help them understand how to interact with the vehicle for safe riding. The passenger area is designed with handholds and three-point restraints to accommodate most people. Since not all people are alike, the operator should verify each passenger can comfortably grip the handholds, is able to place their feet on the floor, and the seatbelt is securely fastened. No passenger should be under the age of 12. Be a responsible driver. Operate to the ability of your passengers instead of your own to reduce the risk of accidents. Your Ranger Razor is equipped with cab nets on both sides of the vehicle. Cab nets must be used by both the driver and any passengers at all times. Riding in this vehicle without using the cab nets can result in serious injury or death in the event of an accident or overturn. Always use the cab nets while operating the vehicle. Before every ride, inspect the cab nets for wear or damage. If the cabinets appear worn or damaged, promptly replace them with new cabinets available from your authorized Polaris dealer. Also, before every ride, make sure all the cabinet straps and latches are secure. If the cabinets are removed for any reason, take note of how the nets are installed to the vehicle before removing them. Before operating the vehicle, always reinstall the cabinets as originally installed at the factory. Please see your Polaris dealer for assistance. When selecting riding gear, the first thing you need is a helmet to protect your head. Helmets come in lots of styles. Whatever style you choose, make sure it's DOT approved and make sure you and your passengers wear them every time you get into the vehicle, regardless of the type of operating you'll be doing. You and your passengers also need to wear goggles or a face shield when you ride to protect your eyes against dust, dirt, bugs, or other debris. Wear long sleeve shirts, gloves, long pants, and over the ankle boots to protect yourself against debris, not to mention the weather. Polaris makes a variety of riding gear, and all of it is specially designed to keep you and your passengers comfortable when you ride. Before you operate, perform the pre-ride inspection as described in the owner's manual. 
Visually inspect the vehicle. Looking for brush, sticks, or other debris that may impair the vehicle's operation or damage rubber drivetrain components. Pay particular attention to the radiator area for the accumulation of mud or debris which can cause the engine to overheat. Check the condition of the tires, looking for any sign of punctures or damage. Check the tire pressures and verify they are to specification. Verify that all fluid levels are at their correct levels. Check for proper function of all controls, particularly the steering, brakes, lights, and accelerator. Most importantly, check the condition and function of the seat belts. Due to the potential for damage from exposure to outside elements, follow this inspection procedure before each operation. Pull each seat belt completely out and inspect the full length for cuts, wear, fraying, dirt, debris, or stiffness. Test the buckles and latches for proper operation and inspect them to determine if the latch plate or buckle has been damaged, deformed, or is excessively worn. To sit in the Ranger Razor, the operator should approach the left side of the vehicle. Verify the gear shift is in park then step into the floorboard area while sliding into the operator's seat. Make sure all the cabinets are in place and that the straps and latches are secure. Attach the seat belt and adjust it to fit snugly. For passengers, with the vehicle in park, passengers should enter by stepping into the floorboard area while sliding onto the passenger seat. Operators may want to have passengers be seated first in order to assist them with seat belt and cabinet latches. Attach the seat belt and adjust it to fit snugly. The Ranger Razor uses an automotive style brake system. Both front and rear brakes are applied by pushing the brake pedal toward the floor. The Ranger Razor also utilizes an automotive style accelerator pedal to control speed and acceleration. Pushing on the pedal increases acceleration and vehicle speed. Releasing the pedal reduces engine power and vehicle speed. Your Ranger Razor has a transmission with high and low range plus reverse. To shift the transmission, apply the brake and pull the shift handle firmly back into low range. If more speed is desired while operating on hard pack surfaces, apply the brake, come to a complete stop and shift to high range. The Ranger Razor is equipped with a multi-function instrument cluster, mode button, and a 4x4 switch. It also features adjustable tilt steering, seats, and handholds. Refer to your owner's manual for more information on the operation of these features. The Ranger Razor 4 includes a rear two-seat passenger area equipped with seat belts, side nets, and a handhold. Passengers sitting in the rear seats should keep hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. Always use the side nets and handhold and never hold on to the cab frame. The Ranger Razor has front storage and a cargo box to carry extra equipment or materials. Never carry passengers in the cargo box. Do not load cargo weight in excess of the warning decal specifications, which are located on the vehicle. Always secure the cargo you wish to carry, keeping in mind that carrying tall, off-center, or unsecured loads increase the risk of vehicle instability and loss of control. Your Ranger Razor is equipped with a towing hitch for pulling extra cargo or other items. Never exceed the recommended tongue weight, as this can lead to steering and handling issues. When towing, always use low range as the primary drive gear. Allow a greater distance for braking. Slow your speed around corners and over irregular terrain. Again, when towing, always secure the cargo you wish to tow, keeping in mind that carrying tall, off-center, or unsecured loads increase the risk of vehicle instability and loss of control.
Before carrying passengers in your Ranger Razor, you must first have at least two hours of driving experience. Begin by finding an open area that will give you plenty of room to familiarize yourself with the vehicle's operation and handling. While practicing driving, do not tow or carry any cargo. When you are ready to go, check your surroundings to determine where you're headed. Then, keeping both hands on the steering wheel, slowly release the brakes and depress the throttle with your right foot to begin driving. Drive slowly at first. Then, on level surfaces, practice starting, stopping, turning, maneuvering, using the throttle and brakes, and driving in reverse. Learn how the vehicle handles when making both left and right turns at a slow speed. Remember, all cabinets must remain on the vehicle during operation. Only increase your speed after you've mastered all the maneuvers at a slow speed. At faster speeds, follow these precautions. Avoid sharp turns. Never turn while applying heavy throttle. Never make abrupt steering maneuvers. Operate at speeds appropriate for your skills, the conditions, and the terrain. Do not do power slides, donuts, jumps, or other driving stunts. After you have two hours of experience driving the Ranger Razor, you should fully explain to any passengers the importance of operation while the vehicle is in motion. A good idea would be to demonstrate how a passenger should be seated, how to fasten the seatbelt and cabinet, and the proper places to hold on to while you are sitting in the parked vehicle. To avoid injury, you and your passengers should keep your entire body inside the cab frame and hold on to the steering wheel or handholds at all times while the vehicle is in motion. Cab nets must be used by the driver and passengers at all times. Your Ranger Razor has an adjustable spring preload front and rear suspension. Adjustable spring preload allows the operator to maintain vehicle clearance height while carrying loads. Although the spring preload is adjustable, the factory setting is considered appropriate for many riding conditions. If you make adjustments to the suspension spring preload, follow these rules. Never exceed the stated load capacity for your vehicle. This includes the weight of the driver, passengers, accessories, and cargo. Always adjust the suspension to the same setting at all four springs. Always return the suspension to the factory setting after the load has been removed from the Ranger Racer. An increase in the height of the suspension will have a negative impact on the vehicle's stability when operating without a load. See your owner's manual for more information. Consult your local Polaris dealer for the tool and procedures required to adjust your suspension settings. It's important to realize that the cab frame of your Ranger Razor cannot provide complete rollover protection. Always operate your Ranger Razor responsibly to avoid injury to you and your passengers. When cornering, slow down. Never corner fast with passengers, cargo, when towing or operating alone. Keep in mind that additional cargo and or passenger weight will affect cornering ability. Always slow down and allow for greater stopping distances when carrying or towing loads with any vehicle. Refer to your owner's manual for more information. Your Ranger Razor is equipped with reverse, a handy feature for maneuvering. When operating in reverse, pay careful attention to your surroundings. Always verify it is safe to back up before doing so. Sometimes it's helpful to the operator if a passenger gets out and guides the operator when backing up. It is recommended that the Ranger Razor avoid hills over 15 degrees. When climbing hills, maintain a steady speed and drive straight uphill, never to the side. Avoid steep inclines. If you're not careful, you can overturn when going up or down hills. Remember that the Ranger Razor is not intended to be operated on inclines greater than 15 degrees. Always have the 4x4 switch engaged when climbing hills or crossing other irregular or slippery terrain. 
Not using 4x4 mode when climbing hills could cause traction loss and control issues. If you begin to stall while driving uphill, stop the vehicle and allow it to roll slowly straight back downhill while keeping light pressure on the brake pedal. Turn and reverse course only when it is considered safe to do so. When going downhill, you should slow down. Apply the brakes lightly for added control. The front and rear brakes are applied by pressing the foot brake. Drive straight downhill, never to the side. Never coast downhill with the transmission in neutral. Side hilling your vehicle is one of the most dangerous types of operation and should be avoided if possible. If you cannot avoid driving on the side of a hill, be aware of any bumps, obstacles, or terrain that might raise or lower one side of the vehicle or cause it to slide. If you begin to slide downhill at any time, you should turn immediately downhill to stop the slide or stop the machine and maneuver to get the vehicle pointed downhill before continuing forward. Your Ranger Razor is designed to be used off-road only on surfaces such as dirt, sand, or gravel. Never operate your vehicle on paved surfaces. Paved surfaces can cause unexpected vehicle behaviors, which could result in an accident. Operate slow and cautiously on snow and ice. Sudden vehicle movements could lead to loss of control. Read and understand your owner's manual. Your Ranger Razor can operate through water with a maximum recommended depth equal to the bottom of the floorboard. Submerging the vehicle beyond the recommended depth can result in water entering the engine intake and clutch system. Follow these procedures when operating through water. Determine water depths and current before crossing. Choose a crossing where both banks have gradual inclines. Proceed slowly avoiding rocks and other obstacles if possible. After crossing, dry the brakes by driving slowly while applying light pressure to the lever until braking action is normal. Consult your owner's manual for more information regarding water crossing precautions. Should your vehicle become immersed beyond the recommended depth and rendered inoperable, take it to your dealer immediately for service to avoid damaging the engine or clutch system. Respect the environment you ride in. Find out where the designated riding areas are. If you're not sure, contact a Polaris or Ranger dealer, a local off-roading club, or call your city or local government offices. Above all, stay on the trail. Remember, as an off-road enthusiast, you represent the sport. Tread lightly. Staying on the trail is the best way to keep the trails open. Travel and recreate with minimum impact. Respect the environment and the rights of others. Educate yourself, plan and prepare before you go. Allow for future use of the outdoors by leaving it better than you found it. Discover the rewards of responsible recreation. Practice good trail riding etiquette. When operating with others, keep a safe distance. Communicate to oncoming operators how many are in your group. When stopping, do so on a straight section and move your vehicle as far off the trail as possible to allow others to pass. Thanks for watching. Before we go, let's quickly go over the ways to enjoy your Ranger Razor safely. Read the owner's manual and warning labels before operation. Get the right equipment. That means always wearing a helmet, goggles, long sleeve shirt, gloves, long pants, and over the ankle boots. Never carry passengers under the age of 12 or passengers that are not large enough to put both feet on the floor and securely grasp the handholds. Never operate on public roads. Never operate after consuming alcohol or drugs. Never operate at excessive speeds for the terrain, visibility, or your experience. Always avoid paved surfaces. Never do power slides donuts, jumps, or other driving stunts. And finally, drive responsibly. Find the designated trails and stay on them. Your vehicle can be hazardous to operate. Severe injury or death can result if you don't follow instructions.
In addition to the fun of owning a Ranger Razor, there's a vast line of accessories offered which allows customization of your vehicle to suit your particular tastes. It is recommended that you install only Polaris approved, trail tested accessories. The use of non-Polaris approved accessories can seriously affect vehicle stability. Remember, the Ranger Razor can be a great escape for the whole family for years to come if you operate safely on the way out.